All right, followers for my Instagram account, Jamal's Cookies, have been going up, but there's a problem. Sales haven't. Then I realized I don't have a link to my website in my Instagram bio. So in this video, I'm gonna walk through adding links to my Instagram bio step by step and see if that adjustment will give my sales a little bit of a boost. Let's do it. If you use Instagram, you probably see brands posting link in bio in their posts all the time. The reason they do this is because Instagram doesn't allow for hyperlinks in post copy. So one of the ways to get followers into your sales funnel is to direct them to your bio where you can post a link to your content store or other landing pages that help drive your business. I'm sure you're thinking, wow, Jamal, where'd you learn this? HubSpot has a super helpful Instagram for business guide where I was able to learn a lot about Instagram from best posting times to hashtags to use to templates for content. Super helpful. You can pick it up at the link in the description below. But back to the problem at hand. Here's an example of a business in a similar space as me, the super popular Crumble Cookies. You can see how their bio link drives straight to their order page, where you can place an order for delivery or pickup. It's notable that they don't just link to their website, because if you're scrolling through these mouthwatering cookies and want to order one, forcing users to navigate an extra page or two could lose them. Yes, attention spans are that short. By directing them straight to the order page, the users funneled there are more likely to convert into paying customers. So I know that I need to add a link, but how do I actually do that? Actually, no strat, I'm gonna walk through how to do that right now. First, open your Instagram app and go to your profile by tapping your avatar in the bottom right of the screen. Next, tap Edit Profile. You should have a succinct explainer of your business using search terms that will help you be discovered when users are looking at similar products or business. In the case of Jamal's cookies, I want to make sure cookies is in there, but I also want to keep it playful because cookies are fun. I got to also add related accounts or more hashtags if I wanted, but I'm going to leave it here for now. And then right below my bio, I can add a link to my website and it's as simple as that. We're going to check in later to see how adding a link in my bio will impact sales. But while we wait for those orders to start piling up, let me show you some other examples of how well this can work. As we've seen, it can be critical to include a link in your bio so that you can convert followers into customers, whether it's a physical product you're selling or trying to follow them to your monetizable content on another platform. Something that comes in handy is a service like Linktree, which allows you to group together links in one place as a sort of hub menu for followers to select from. So is it possible for a brand to find success using one of these hub style bio links rather than one that goes directly to a single page? The answer is a definite yes. One of my favorite lifestyle magazines, The Strategist, uses a hub to link to a variety of content as well as provide an email newsletter signup with an easy visual menu of articles to click on. Their version replicates the visual experience of looking at their Instagram page, except each image is clickable and will lead you directly to their content. But what if you're not a media outlet like The Strategist and are looking for a more streamlined, less graphic heavy option? LA food staple Trejos Tacos is a great example of a simpler option. Sometimes I'm cookied out and just need a taco delivered to my door, you know? So Trejos uses Linktree in their bio to present a lot of clear, distinct options for the user, including links to order online, delivery through specific apps, catering, their careers page, web store, and more. It's clean, obvious, and it's easy for their followers to get what they're looking for, whether they just need to slam a taco or they're looking for some merch. All right, we're gonna check back in a couple days and see if sales had an improvement after adding that link to my bio. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, drum roll please. Let's check in on those sales. Wow, okay. Uh, I need to get baking. Shout out to the strategy. Obviously it was super helpful for my business in particular. And also a huge shout out to HubSpot's Instagram for Business Guide that really obviously helped me out a lot in coming up with the strategy in the first place. As I mentioned, if you want more insights like this for Instagram, please be sure to check that out in the description below. We're just giving away a ton of value. It'll be super helpful for you. As always, subscribe to the HubSpot YouTube channel for more helpful how-to guides and marketing tips and drop any helpful Instagram tricks you've learned in the comments below. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really do actually need to start baking. <laughs> Things seem to be going well for Jamal's cookies. Until then, I'll see you next time. I can't find this client info. Have you heard of HubSpot? HubSpot is a CRM platform, so it shares its data across every application. Every team can stay aligned. No out-of-sync spreadsheets or dueling databases. HubSpot, grow better.